that's just the way it is. So, so I have a memory of you. And as long as I have a memory of you, I, you show up equal to my memory of you, then I'm like, oh, I can recognize Jay. The moment a person starts to change in a small collective community, they don't show up as the memory that people have of them. Like something's different, something's out of phase, right? And so then a question is like, what is it? What is it about you? And if the person's happier, then you suspect, oh, that they are in love or oh, they must have got a new job or they're taking a new drug, a new medication, <laughs> whatever it is, right? But, but they're genuinely just different or happy. So if that consciousness of that small collective is all about evolution, is all about love, is all about growth, you're going to say to that person, so what happened? And that person's going to say, I changed. Like, well, how did you change? I just decided that I was holding on to this emotion resentment and I've just been working for the last two weeks and I feel better. Like I genuinely feel better now that I'm not addicted to that emotion of resentment. Mm -hmm. Now the person is naturally going to say, what? Well, how did you do that? Well, I, I, okay, and then you get in the conversation about change, right? Now the person's inspired by someone in the flock who's breaking out and in, in changing their consciousness, changing their awareness, changing their energy, changing their emotional state. And it's evident. They're the example. And mirror neurons switch on in the brain and mirror neurons emulate behavior. So if that person is kind and present and considerate and caring, all of a sudden you're like, wow, wow, Jay is like really present and really cool. And you're going to begin to think about that more and more. And mirror neurons will be like encouraging you to behave like that tribe, that person in the tribe.